I just started driving for one of the app-based and online-based uh, delivery services. There's a few of them. I'm not going to say which one I'm uh, working with right now, but there's a few of them. Like there's Postmates, there's Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash, etc. Maybe maybe others. But uh, I, so I, I just recently, a few days ago actually, started a temporary side job with one of them. Really just to kind of experiment with it and see how it goes and see what, see what it's like. Because I've uh, I've never had a delivery job, and so I figured I'd just do it um, to make a few extra dollars on the side and just to, like I said, uh, to experience it. And I wanted to share a couple of things with anyone who is considering or is using, maybe already using, one of those services. Uh, the main thing is that there's a lot of, actually there's a lot of different things I could share, and there's a lot of different directions I could go with this, but the main thing I wanted to share uh, maybe this has happened to you, I don't know, maybe it hasn't, but you may have had it happen where you place an order and your order isn't accepted right away. Or maybe it maybe it doesn't get accepted at all, I'm not sure, but it doesn't get accepted right away. Maybe it takes a couple minutes or a few minutes to for them to find a driver. And you may wonder, so what's going on there? Well, I would propose this one question to you. Are you tipping, and if so, how much? Now, there's a lot behind that, but the platform that I'm using right now, I may experiment with other, I probably will actually experiment with other platforms as well, but the the one that I'm uh, using right now, the one that I'm, uh, with whom I'm an independent contractor, meaning that I am not an employee, I'm a contractor, so I pay all my own expenses, etc., then they, they pay me a portion per delivery and then I make up the rest with tips and whatnot. That's how they, that's how the, I think most if not all of the delivery services work, at least the one that I'm contracting with, that's how they work. So the way it works, at least with the one that I'm with, again, I'm not going to say which one it is, but the way that I'm contracting with, the way that it works is that each time uh, we have an order come in, not each time, because uh, it doesn't happen each time they get an order, but uh, when they get orders, they send them to us, they offer them, they offer the orders, the deliveries to us drivers. And when we get the order, we can get a, we can see a breakdown of how much the, the minimum that we're going to make. Sometimes it ends up being more depending on various factors, but we see a minimum that we're going to make. More often than not, that's how much we make for that delivery. Sometimes it ends up being a few dollars more, again, depending on various things, but we see the guaranteed minimum that we're going to make. And more often than not, that's the amount that we do end up making for that delivery. Now, it doesn't give us a, a detailed breakdown of what, what portion of that is the tip, what portion is our base pay, etc. But we have an idea because we know about how much the service is paying us for the, for, for the delivery. And sometimes they'll give us peak pay. They'll add a couple extra dollars during the busy times and whatnot, things like that. But so we know in advance, we already know, uh, we already know what our base pay is going to be. So any, any amount additional on top of that means that, that the, the customer has given us a tip. So here's what happens is for a given delivery, let's say I get a delivery request and it's uh, $10. And I know that my base pay for that delivery is $4, let's say. I then know that my tip has, the, the customer has tipped me $6. I may or may not take that order, depending on various things. How far of a drive it is. Uh, actually, that may be the main thing, how far of a drive it is. Maybe order size, because if it's a big order and they're only tipping $6, then... If it's a probably because if it's a bigger order, that may end up it may end up taking me more time just to wait around for them to finish the order once I arrive at the restaurant, etc. So if it's like if it's a, uh, if it's say a, a ten item order and it's a six dollar tip, and it's ten miles away, I'm probably not going to accept that request. I'm probably going to decline it. Which I can decline all the orders that I want to, and it doesn't affect my it doesn't affect my rating or how many orders I'm going to get for the most part. They're not going to fire you for declining orders. We have every right to decline orders. 
they do when when we decline an order they do ask us why we declined it they give a bunch of options and so you just tell them why you're declining it but you can decline as many as you want and it doesn't really count against you so if you're making placing orders and your orders are taking a long time to be accepted or maybe they're not getting accepted at all i would question how much you're tipping and think about this. When you tip someone, you're basically paying them to do what maybe you don't want to do. Namely, drive to the place using gas, wear and tear oil, etc. on the vehicle. Uh, wear, and tear, wear and tear on the vehicle. You're paying them to sit in traffic. You're paying them to stand in line for you. They're, you're paying them to wait around at the restaurant if the food is not ready. You're paying for all these things. Basically, you're paying for the person's time. And in a way, if you're not going to tip generously, then you're in a way implying that that person's time is not as valuable as your own time in a way maybe that's not the heart maybe that's not your heart and motive but that's in a way that's kind of what you're saying is that you don't value the person's time now i'm saying this to myself as well because growing up and no doubt throughout the years i haven't always been the most generous tipper there have been times i think in the past where i didn't tip the way i should have the way i now wish i had but after this experience, I have a hard time seeing myself ever tipping less than, say, $5 as, like, a minimum. Even if it's just, like, someone going to my local 7-Eleven and grabbing a Slurpee for me, they're doing something that I don't want to do, and they're doing it for me. I'm going to compensate them for that. So any more I have trouble, even the thought of giving less than, like, say, $5 as a minimum it seems, like, kind of, like, I wouldn't want to do that because I wouldn't want that done to me or to other delivery drivers. And it makes me want to be extra generous now that I know what delivery drivers go through. Now, not, now probably not, not all delivery drivers, I'm sure, go through the same. You know, there's different, different delivery drivers probably face different kinds of obstacles and whatnot. So I'm not saying that every, every job is like this one. Maybe pizza delivery people f f uh, face their own set of obstacles. Uh, maybe other drivers for other companies face their own sets of obstacles and they have their own requirements. But in general... I'm learning that you, you, never, you never know what the driver is going through, what the person on the other side is going through. So like I say, all that to say what I'm learning from this, even just these last three or four days, because I just started this thing a couple days ago. I don't think I could, after this, I don't think I could ever tip less than about $5 as, as a minimum, even for a, a quick, simple delivery. So... If you're wondering, again, I'll let to say, if you're wondering why maybe your orders aren't being accepted or maybe they're being canceled because they, cause no one wants to take them, consider how much you're tipping. There's actually a lot of drivers, I, I read about this uh, and I've heard from other drivers, there's a lot of drivers who won't, including now myself, who won't accept orders if they're like, if you can, if you see that there's only like a, a one, two, three dollar tip. Yesterday, actually, I rejected probably, I think I rejected, I had to have reje rejected 30 plus offers yesterday because I could tell that they had either left a no tip or a very small tip. There's actually one that came in that I could tell that was about a, a dollar tip approximately, and I actually, I laughed at it when I saw it, and I just declined it immediately. It wasn't worth my time. Drivers are, at least with these platforms where they we're allowed to reject them, more often than not, they're likely going to reject them if it's not worth their time, financially. Are you going to make it worth their time? If you're, ha if you're having trouble getting your offers, your delivery is accepted. You may want to err more on the side of generosity. If you want to have a good experience with your delivery, you might want to err on the side of generosity. I think I think yesterday I took one I intentionally took one single order that had a kind of a in my opinion an um a stingy tip. And I only accepted it because I had been, my previous delivery had taken me to about 7 to 10 miles from home, and this delivery was going to bring me closer to home. So I was basically getting paid to drive back home in a way. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have accepted it. 
and it would happen to be a stacked order, which means I'm doing two orders at once. So that made it even a little bit more profitable. But even then, in other circumstances, I wouldn't have taken it. I would have declined it. Because I could tell they were only tipping about a dollar or two each. So I hope this has kind of helped you to understand the situation, maybe change your perspective a little bit. I know this experience has changed my perspective and my attitude towards tipping, especially with with uh, delivery drivers and and, um, and services of that nature. So you know, it's probably easy to think of the delivery driver as just another person. But you also have to realize they're a person too and they have they have their own life and when you tip or don't tip you're all you're almost putting a, a higher or a lower dollar value on their time something to consider again i'm i've been challenged i myself have been challenged by this experience been convicted in a way kind of question myself like have i been treating others the way i'd want to be treated Maybe that's the big question we need to ask. Are we treating others the way we'd want to be treated, both financially and otherwise? Some people say kill them with kindness. I'm going to add to that. Kill them with generosity. Take care.